pretty amazing that there are opposing views on the Holocaust, Chris, but I guess some people have them. Yeah, they're called Nazis. Nazis have opposing views on the Holocaust because they think it was the right thing to do. My, my grandparents fled Nazi Germany. They watched their friends and their families be murdered by the Nazis. My grandfather came to the United States as a young teenager. When he turned 17, he joined the army, went back, and he fought the Nazis on behalf of the United States of America. There is no opposing view to the Holocaust. It was a real thing that happened. And if we're not careful and we start whitewashing history here and start pretending that bad things never happened in this world and even in this country, you know, we might face that again sometime in our future. I pray we don't, and I don't think we're on a path to do that. But the kind of talk that I heard at that school board meeting and that I saw yesterday blew my top on my radio show last night uh, discussing it. It is disgusting. It saddens me that anybody would even consider that. Does that speak to the rise of anti-Semitism that we've covered here extensively on the show and sort of the, the new acceptability of anti-Semitism even among those on the left? Or does it speak to this sort of crazy situation that we have in some school districts where there's now this attempt to legislate what students are being taught because parents are upset over critical race theory? Yeah, I don't think, you know, everybody gets a vote on what history was, right? History is history. It happened. There are facts. I think there's too much, you know, in this country right now, there's too much debate over what the facts were. And that is a clear fact. And I'm, I'm heartened to see that so many people on the left and the right are joining me and others in condemning what was said there. But that said, you know, we see things, these theories spouting out on the right, like white replacement theory. Uh, you know, this is a natural progression of that. And I don't like this grievance culture that has been developing in this country. I see it mostly on the right, but I'm sure that there are some arguments on the left uh, that it's coming from the left as well. So, yeah, I, I think that we have to understand in this country that hate is bad no matter who it's directed towards. Chris, though, you know, you and I have talked a lot, and obviously you're on, on the left, the aggressive progressive, but the, the willingness to accept anti-Semitism and anti-Semitic tropes on the left has certainly increased over the past 10 years. Just look at what's been said by members of the Progressive Caucus in, in Congress. Yeah, I mean, the leader of the Democrats in the United States Senate, Chuck Schumer, is himself a Jew. I am half Jewish. I, I was raised Catholic, but I was, uh, I, you know, my father and my grand on my father's side, they are Jewish. And quite frankly, I don't think anti-Semitism should be tolerated anywhere, anytime. And when it has been spouted sometimes in Congress, there has been swift condemnation of that. And quite frankly, there has been uh, some, some consequences for that member and apologies from that member. So, you know, I like to see the same kind of condemnation to these people in Texas from the Texas state legislature. I wonder if they're going to weigh in on it. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see if the governor uh, comes forward on this and how it goes. Obviously, uh, over the weekend. Chris, uh, share your outrage and share your thoughts. Thanks for being with us as always. Have a great weekend. Any, you too, Leland, anytime. Yeah, good conversation.